are assistant professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. I am from IT ICT department. I will be discussing with you today course on analog and digital communication. Today we will be starting with its first chapter that is introduction to communication system. All of you might be knowing what is analog system and what is digital system. A continuous system is known as analog system and a system which is monitored in terms of high or low logic is known as digital system. The basic example of analog system is temperature sensor. If you are monitoring your temperature then for every second you are monitoring the rise and low in temperature that is an analog system which we can monitor in form of continuous evaluation while the digital signals are those signals which are monitored in terms of high or low logic that is whether it can be on or it can be off so this is all about analog and digital systems so here in this course we are going to study about analog and digital communication. Now let's understand what is this introduction to communication system. So in this session we are going to cover the following topics that is what is a communication system, what are the elements of communication system why there is a need of modulation all these concepts we are going to study in this session so let's start with this topics so the first topic which we are going to discuss in this analog to digital communication course is what is a communication system all of you might be wondering that what is a communication system like what is communication? All you have studied it in your engineering uh, duration that communication between two people, communication between two systems. But can you define what is a communication system? A communication system is a system in which we can exchange the information between two people, between two media, between two systems. So it is a system in which there is a description of exchange of information between two points. So basically we can describe that the process of transmission and reception of information is called communication. This is the basic definition of communication. Now let's understand in terms of our language. Let's take an example that if I am communicating with all of you, I am delivering this session with all of you, then I am sharing the information with all of you regarding analog to digital communication source. So I am the transmitter in this case and you all are the receiver in this case as you all are taking or having the information from my source that is I am teaching this analog to digital communication course. So I am the transmitter who is transferring the information about analog to digital communication course with all of you and you all are the receivers. So the two media that is required for any communication system is the transmitter and the receiver. Transmitter is going to share the information. It is going to transmit the information and receiver is going to receive the information. Now in between these two another medium we all require is the channel or medium via which we are going to have the sharing of information. So basically if I am the transmitter, I am the sharing point of information of this course then the video lecture which all of you might be watching is the channel or medium via which you are receiving the information. I am the transmitter. This video session is your channel or medium via which you are receiving 
the information and you all are the receivers of the information. So this is the basic example of communication system. There will be transmitter, channel or medium via which the signal will be transmitted and the last point will be the receiver where the receiver will receive the signal which is originally transmitted by the transmitter. So transmitter, channel or medium and receiver are the three basic blocks of any communication system. So this is about communication system. The next we will be discussing is the block diagram of communication system. How exactly communication system works? What are its elements that we are going to see? So you can see the starting point of this communication system is the information source. From the information source, the information is going to enter into the transmitter block and this transmitter block is going to share the information to the channel. Channel is simply going to carry the information and it is going to transfer it to the receiver. Receiver will have the reception of signal and finally the information is going to be retrieved back which was originally transmitted by the transmitter. So basically the information was transmitted in form of data to transmitter from transmitter it entered into the channel where the channel got mixed up with some noise or other attenuation and the same will be forwarded to the receiver and at the end the information will be retrieved back which was originally transmitted. So this is the block diagram of communication system. This is how the communication system works. Now let's understand this in terms of normal terminology. See, I am delivering the information regarding chapter number 1 of ADC. So the information source is chapter number 1 of ADC. Then transmitter is, I am delivering this session. So I am the transmitter for this communication system. Then the channel, this video session is the channel via which I am transferring the information about analog to digital communication system. So it is the channel and the receiver is you all students are understanding the information about analog to digital communication by watching this session. So you all are the receiver and the destination information is the information about this chapter number one of analog to digital communication. So this is whole communication system. Now you all might be wondering that what is the noise? So whenever I am delivering any information at that time, there might be chances that some unwanted noises might get mixed up with the information which we are sharing. So that is the unwanted signal which we call as noise. So this is the block diagram of communication system. The next we are going to see or we are going to understand is every block of this communication system. Basically what is an information? Information is a message that we are going to convey to any entity where we have to transmit the signal. So basically a message or the information is the entity that is to be transmitted. And this information can be in form of audio, video, temperature, picture or pressure. So basically let's take an example. If a person wants to transmit a message hello to another person, then this is, hello is the information. Then the next is the transmitter block. Now what is this transmitter block? Transmitter block is an arrangement that processes the message signal into suitable form for transmission such that it can be received exactly by the receiver. So here this person wants to say the message hello to another person. So this person is the transmitter. Then what is the channel in this case? Via mobile phone this person is sharing 
the message hello to another person so this mobile phone is the channel for this information transfer basically a channel is a media which is going to transfer the information simply from transmitter to receiver a channel refers to a physical medium such as wire cable space through which it is sharing the signal or it is passing the signal from transmitter to receiver so this is the medium it can have noise attenuation and distortion impairments which can affect the channel performance to a certain level so this unwanted signal can be added whenever the signal is transferring via channel the next is the receiver block now what is this receiver block the receiver block is receiving the message which was originally transmitted by the transmitter it is an arrangement that extracts the message or information from the transmitted signal at an output end of the channel and it reproduces it in a suitable form as the original message was transmitted so this is known as the receiver this person is receiving the message hello which was told by the first person who was calling so this is the receiver so the summary of this communication system we can see in one flow that is hello is the message or information that the first person was telling to the second person so the first person was a transmitter via which medium this person was telling hello to another person via the mobile phone so the mobile phone is the channel and this second person is the receiver which is receiving the hello message so this is about the communication system basic example of communication system we have seen here many more technical examples in terms of real life applications we will be seeing in the upcoming sessions so now let's understand some another new topic that is modulation what is basically modulation modulation is basically mixing of message signal and carrier signal carrier signal basically carries the message signal from transmitter end to receiver end so here we are multiplying or mixing the message signal with the carrier signal and the final modulated signal we are transmitting at the receiver end so this is modulation basically why there is a need of modulation why modulation we are performing so the few points which are necessary to understand why there is a need of modulation that we will be seeing basically modulation is a process of varying one or more properties of the modulating signal by mixing it with the carrier signal and the separate signal that typically contains a uh, information that is to be transmitted so basically there will be one message signal and there will be one carrier signal which we are combining and we are transmitting in form of modulated signal that is known as modulation and why we are doing this modulation so following are the reasons of modulating signal first reason of modulation is reduction in the height of antenna second reason is avoiding of mixing of signal third reason is increase in the range of communication fourth reason is multiplexing possibility fifth reason is the improvement of quality of reception so these are the reasons for modulation this parameters are followed whenever you have to do modulation in depth we will be discussing these need of modulation in the upcoming next session these are the reference books which i have referred for this course electronic communication by john cullen and dennis roddy same by george kennedy and benward davis modern digital and analog communication by b p lakhi this is one of the finest book for this course all of you can refer this third book for this course 
Fourth is Communication System by Simon Heiken. This is also a good book for this course. So these are the list of reference books which you can refer for this course. Thank you very much for watching this session. In the upcoming session, we will be seeing the real life applications of analog to digital communication system. Thank you.